Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, haven't done a stream in a while, um, or rather uploaded a video, because I, I don't really stream at this point. Don't have enough uh, subscribers. But this is uh, CP Cards and Dice, and I am learning to play um, replay baseball. And so far, so good. This is my basically my third game using the same two teams. Uh, I was too lazy to to pull out other teams and then have to, in case I didn't have the fringe players I needed, I would have to print those out and, and waste ink and waste cards. So I said, you know what, what the heck, just to learn the game, let me, uh, and see how I like it, you know, see how uh, it flows and if it's right for me. Um, I'm having a, a good time doing it uh, right now. Uh, I decided I was going to replay it. They, I bought this the small set because I like the online game which is for free and I played that and I started saying hmm let me try this out and um, I watched a couple of tutorials online and I said okay it looks like it looks doable so then I ordered the, the, the game with I think it comes with eight teams plus Oakland um, 2018 so I took the Yankees and I took Oakland and I said well let's replay the, the uh, car, uh, wild card game that was played October 3rd right and I played that the first game, the Yankees won the second game, the A's won, and now this is a wild card game three. Right now it's two to one. The Yankees are up in the bottom of the sixth inning. Um, I'm using all the same lineups, all the same pitchers, and so on. Right now it's going to be Sean Kelly. He's pitching here for the A's. And uh, he's going to face Luke Voigt, who's one for two. He's homered and struck out. And um, and, I'll, and as I play, I'll be mentioning the. Uh, I'll give you my my uh, observations, share my observations with you to see, you know, uh, what you think, and uh, if if you choose to follow my in my footsteps and and order the game, uh, you know, um, then you may or may not uh, see similar things and and so on. I did notice it has basically five. It has a an instruction booklet. That's a foldable instruction bo booklet made out of made its color and, and it's, uh, I'll show you that thing right here. It folds into three. And this is going to give you, the inside is what you're using 90% of the time, basically. It has column one, column two, column three, column four, column five, and column six. Okay. So my red die, when I roll it, is going to tell me what column I'm looking at. at and, and, and it has all kinds of s uh, instructions for roles um, how can I explain this okay for example let's say when you look at your picture like right here 2 1 on Sean Kelly's card it has an asterisk right so you go to column 2 and it says a pitcher has an asterisk beside his column 2 grade result is 12 to 16 results 12 to 16 are changed to pop up to first base there's a lot of that going on it's like and each card has a bunch of different um, uh, d different either uh, 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 asterisks or um, letters. Um, th there's a bunch of different stuff going on here that you have to kind of be in tune to, which is kind of cool, you know. Ultimately, you know, I go through all these machinations of you know look here look there and look the other place and then it says fly out to left field <laughs> you know so for that you see that that's one of the things that uh, um, I have issues with uh, you know playing like more complex not that this is a complex game but in general sometimes guys will want to uh, play a more complex game or add depth and complexity to what they have already but it's like the turns the twists and turns that you have to um, you know, uh, go through to ultimately come out with a grounded to short or a fly ball to set, you know, a fly ball to, to left. I'm like, hmm, couldn't I got to, couldn't I, couldn't I have gotten to that point without having to look in six different places? Could I have just had a fly ball to left field? That's crazy. I don't know. So that's what we have to answer, you know, and some guys are, you know, like to look at for every single play, 
they want to look at the right fielder's arm. But my perspective is that the right fielder's arm doesn't come into play on every ball that's hit to right field. You know, um, I don't think uh, I don't think it's necessary to look at it all the time. I mean, now does it come into play with the runner on first going to third? Well, depending on the speed of the runner, you know, depending on how many outs, depending on where the ball is hit. There's so many factors. Do you really want to slow yourself down to calculate every single factor every single time? I'm not saying uh, not to do it sometimes. Okay, you want to add that 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 you know that flavor, that color, that character of the right fielder having you know that gun and being able to throw guys out on a fly from right field to third base. That's great. I mean, you don't want to miss out on that. You know, and and do you want to have that? Well, sometimes I believe you do. Absolutely, no doubt. Do you want to have it all the time? That's the question. You know, do you want to check the right fielder's arm? You know, did the guy from first advance to third? Did the guy from second advance to home? And do I do I want to check every single guy? You know, um, you're running into you know the time. Uh, issue of how much time do we have to play these games really in our life and and again it's up to you if you want to spend an hour or two hours or three hours on a game well then you're going to play a game that's much more in depth um, and right now these games have been taking me I've been playing three innings and taking a break playing three innings and taking a break so you'll see how long it takes me we're in the bottom of the sixth inning so that was my little mini rant just uh, you know I'm not taking one side or the other I'm just saying I think there's uh, you know, uh, different people have uh, different uh, uh, interests in terms of what they, they get out of these games. Um, now, I'm going to be honest with you, this game has a lot, but it's pretty simple to follow. And I'm, I'm you know, I'm no uh, rocket scientist, and and I don't see all that well, and, uh, uh, and I fumble around a, a lot, but even with that, taking that into consideration, um, this is pretty smooth in that it's it's pretty clear. It's written fairly clearly. It encompasses a lot, and I, I will continue. Let's get started so I can play a little bit. Uh, Voight is a right-hander. He's facing Sean Kelly. Sean Kelly was an ex-Yankee, and uh, Luke Voight came over from the Cardinals, and he's with the Yankees, having a great year in 2019, and uh, he had 143 at bats, batted 322, hit 15 home runs. So he's got some good power. He's hit a home run in this game already. So here's the pitch from Sean Kelly. Bottom of the sixth, scored two to one Yankees. This is a wild card game, October 3rd, 2018. All right, so you look at the five, five, and then the six. So it's five, six, it's a three on the five column, and then it's a five, one. So it's the 3, and then the 5, 1 is going to be a 5. So that's an 8. So you go to column 5, you look at the 8, and that's a base on balls. All right. So Luke Voigt walks. Didi Gregorius is next. Now Didi is 1 for 2. He's single and struck out. Here's a pitch from Sean Kelly to the lefty Didi Gregorius. It's a 6 6-3, six, 6-3 three. Six, three is a 2, and then a 6-1, a 6-1 is a 16, so that's an 18 total. Column 6, 18 is a deep fly out, or sacrifice, sacrifice fly with runners, uh, uh, runner on third, with less than 2 out. So it's a deep fly to left field. Um, deep fly, what did I say? Deep fly to, yeah, left field. There you go, one out. Now it's going to be Miguel Andujar. He's 0 for 2. He struck out and flied out. The pitch from Kelly. It's a 4 2. A 4 2 is a C6. Now, um, I believe the C represents the, this chart right here. The, uh, I'm not sure if it's the, the, yeah, the action chart. So I would look in C. So, the way I'm understanding this, not totally uh, sure, I'm going to figure out what the outcome is, and then I'm going to look at the C chart to see if so there's a wild pitch, there's a pass ball, there's a stolen base, and on and on and on. 
So it's a, a, a 4, 2, which is a 6, and then a 4, 3, which is a 2, which is an 8. 4, 8. It's going to be a grounder. Runners advance one base, runner on second holes. So it's going to be a grounder, right? Runner, grounded is shortstop or third. Runner on, advances one base, runner on second holes, grounded it. I'm grounded to shortstop or third. Runner on third holes. Oh, and I see. The blue die is going to tell me who the grounder was, too. So the blue die is a two, and that's going to be a grounded second base. So it's going to be basically a 4 3. Two outs now, and the uh, Lou Voigt gets over to second base. So there's a runner on second now in scoring position for Gary Sanchez, who in this game batted eighth. Two outs, bottom of the sixth, and Sean Kelly with the pitch. It's a 6-5. Six, 6-5 five. Six, five is a 3, and then a 6-4. Now, this is lefty-righty splits. He's a righty pitcher, so you can look at the second column, which is a 16. So a 4. Uh, what did I say? It was a 6-5. Six, 6-5 five. Six, five is a 3. It's a 19. 19 in column 6 is going to be a deep fly to right field this time. That's going to be deep fly, right field. And that's going to be the third out. And I use my colored pencils to denote uh, who the pitcher is. As you can see, Kelly is down here in green. And that's going to be it for the bottom of the sixth. We go to top of the seventh. We're using learning to play replay baseball. Pretty simple. And if you can follow along with me, man, you can't, uh, you know, uh, uh, you're going to be forced to learn it because I go slow. So Severino, I got a visit here from my buddy. He just came in, busted down the door. Good boy. All right, Luis Severino is having a pretty good game here. He's only allowed three hits. One of them was a home run, one walk, and he's got 10 Ks. So uh, he's going to face Matt Olson. Olson is the one who hit in the fifth inning, top of the fifth. He he connected uh, for a a. Round tripper against uh, Severino, but he's the only one that's uh, been able to uh, get the. He put the A's on the board, so Severino's having uh, being pretty masterful up to this point. Let's see if he can continue it in the sev top of the seventh inning. Here's the pitch from Severino. It's a one-two. It's a one, and then a one-two is a three. That's going to be a strikeout. That number I know already. Column one. So that's going to be strikeout number eleven. Out number one. Two to six on column one are strikeouts. So Matt Olson goes down swinging. And it's Stephen Piscotti who's 0 for 1 with a walk. Pitch from Severino, that's a 6 5. So 6 5 is a 3, and then a 6 3 is a 36. So that's going to be a 39. Column 6, 39. And that's going to be a strikeout. Number 12. Severino is dominating here in inning number 7. Now he goes, uh, actually, I'm allowing him to go one extra inning than he normally would go. Um, he can face 24 batters. Let's count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's it. So I'm going to pull Severino. He's reached his max. And uh, pitchers who came into this game, I can just look and see. Uh, for the Yanks, it was um, Batances is the first one who relieves in this game. Now, in actuality, the Yankees win this game, and Batons is going to be yellow. Don't do too many yellows, but I'm going to start off yellow right here. Batons is coming in. And uh, I should have him here somewhere. There he is. Dylan Batons is he's a right-hander. Um, pitched in 66 games, 66 innings, 271 ERA with a 1.05 whip. He had four saves. And a four and six one loss record. Dellen Batanzas is going to face Ramon Laureano. Laureano batted 288 with five home runs and 156 at bats. So here's the pitch from Batanzas. That's going to be a five six. Five six is a five K. So we're going to hold off on that K. It's a five, and then it's going to be a five one is a five. So that's a ten. That's a ten in column five. A ten in column five is a base on balls. So Batances comes in, and then it says for the K, it says if pitcher has a K um, in his five column, the result 
uh, and the result is any out with runners on base score it as a strikeout. There's nobody on base and it's not an out, it's a walk. So it does not apply, I imagine. Next is going to be Marcus Semyon. Semyon is over 2, he's flight out to left and flight out to center. Batan says with the pitch, it's going to be a 3, 6 is a 1, and then a 3, 2 is a 12. A 3, 12, column 3, 12 is going to be a line out to the first baseman. A nice catch by Voigt. L3, and that retires the side. So after 6.5, it's 2-1 to one Yankees here at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. I put the little X to denote. I saw that in a, in a, in a book on Sandy Koufax, and I use it. They, they, had, they had one uh, sample scorecard of one of his perfect games, and, and the guy who was keeping the scorecard would put an X, and that way he would know where to start the, the following inning. So Lucroy will lead it off in the top of the eighth, unless he's pinch hit for. I doubt that. It's going to happen. All right, so it's Glaber Torres, second baseman, Yankee second baseman, against now Sean Kelly can go uh, seven batters. He's gone four. And then we're going to bring in Sean Kelly. We're going to bring in uh, Rodney. All right, let's see. Torres. Here's the pitch from Sean Kelly. It's a 4-3 is a shortstop. The shortstop for Oakland is a 2. So basically it's a 2. So it's a 4-3, 4-3. Oh, wait a second. Did that wrong. It's a third baseman. Hmm. Third, I don't know why it's, oh, I looked at the fourth column. See that? There you go. It's a 4-3, so it's a third baseman. Third baseman, I hope I had it's a 1. He's a 1, so that's pretty good. A 1 and then a 4-6. A 4-6 is a 17. A 17, column 4, is a ground at a first. Runner advances. And it's a 3, so... Oh, it was 4-3. 4-3 to three. Four to three out. Oh, no, 5. I'm sorry. 5-3. to three. There you go. See, these are all little things you got to keep in mind, so you got to get used to that. One away, and Sean Kelly faces. This is his one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, four, five. He's got, still got two more. Could get us out of this inning. Um, McCutcheon, Andrew McCutcheon, he's walked twice and scored a run, stole a base, flat out. All right, it's a three, two. A three, two is a one, and a three, one. It's going to be 32. Column 332 is a line out to right field. Two away. And next is Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge is one for two with a walk and a single. He drove in McCutcheon in the bottom of the third inning for the go-ahead run. Aaron Judge. Here's the pitch. It's going to be a 2-6. A 2-6 is a 2 and then a 2-1 is a 35. 35 column 2 is a grounder back to the pitcher. 1 to 3. And it says something about injuries and stuff, but I'm not I'm not looking there. Um, simply because I'm, I'm playing the actual uh, lineups. And that's going to be 3 up, 3 down for Kelly. And next inning we're going to have Rodney in orange and we'll set him up already for the next inning Rodney he's right there there he goes all right so leading off in the bottom of the eighth for Yanks is going to be Hicks against Fernando Rodney And it's Dylan Batanzas going to be pitching to Jonathan Lucroy. We will let him bat. Not a, he batted a 241, which is decent for a catcher, and he is our main catcher. All right, here goes Dylan Batanzas. 
that's going to be a 3, 4. A 3, 4 is a 1, and then a 3, 1 is a 5. So 3, 5 is a short fly to left. One out. So it moves along pretty quickly once you get used to what you're looking at and you realize what things you have to look for and what things you don't. Okay, so it's going to be a 6-4. A 6-4 is a 3-K. We're going to put that K off to the side. 3 in our minds. Uh, 3, and then it's a 6-5. Is it 36? So that's going to be a 39. 39, column 6. 39, column 6 is a strikeout. Pitcher has a K beside his column 6 grade, and the result is any out scored as a strikeout. But it's a strikeout already, so we don't have to worry about that. Strikeout number one, out number two. So Nick Martini, who is one for three, is one for four now. Struck out twice today. Matt Chapman is over three. Struck out, grounded out to third, and then lined out to third. Matt Chapman, he's got good power. 24 home runs, 278 average. Here's the pitch from Batanzas. Batanzas can go eight batters. Um, that's a 1-2. One, a 1-2 one, is a 1-K again. So it's a 1, and then a 1-1 one, one is a 20. So it's a 21. Wow. 21 column 1 is going to be a line drive single plus error. Okay. Um, unless it's, yeah, it's a, it's a K. But uh, if there's a K beside the column, if the pitcher has a K beside this column 1 grade and the result is any out. So it's not. So this is interesting. Okay, this is 21. This comes up. I mean, it's come up a bunch of times. It's a single plus, plus a potential error. So the, the blue die tells us it's going to go to left field. My left fielder is McCutcheon. McCutcheon, let's look at his error rating real quickly. McCutcheon's error rating is a 65. So only a 66 will make it an error here. That's a 53, so there's no error. So it's a single, basically. All right. So Hicks starts us off. I'm sorry. Chapman with two out singles. And it's Lowry. Jed Lowry. Lowry. You know, one for three. I continue to put in yellow for Batanzas. All right. Here's the pitch to Lowry. And that's a six. Four. A 6 4 is a 3, and then a 6 6 is an 11. Oh boy. I know in column 6 and 11 is big trouble. So Batanz has just threw up a gopher ball there. A wheelhouse pitch that Laurie I think is going to get a hold of. So let's double check that. So 6 4 is going to be a 3, and then 6, you can't see it, but 6 6 is going to be an 8. That's an 11. And column 6 and 11 is, all right, let's see, home run option on plays 11 and 12. On 11, you see, it's a single to right, but there's a home run option on plays 11 to 12. There's a lot of optional stuff here. And then it has a little mini chart, and I'll show you that little mini chart. See that little mini chart right there? This is a home run option. Use column 6, plays 11 and 12. So it gives it a little excitement. So he's probably going to hit a single unless I roll a 6 there. If roll one dive if you see, to see if batter drives the pitch for a home run or just misses and lines a single to right field. So I don't have to use that. But I am using that because it's kind of fun. All right, let's see what happens here. I'm going to roll the white die. And it's a 6. That's a home run. It's a two-run shot. It's a deep drive. That is a deep drive to right field. Back goes Judge to the track, to the wall. It's out of here. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Jed Laurie gets a hold of, gets a hold of one here. That puts it out of the park and the A's have taken the top of the eighth lead. They lead it 3-2 to two now. Davis. Chris Davis. Here's the pitch to Chris Davis. 3-2 to two ball game. Oakland up on that two-run shot by uh, Jed Laurie. Here's the pitch. Dellen Batanzas wishes he had that pitch back for sure. 
three four, and that's gonna be fifty seven. And then three four, oh three four again, so it's fifty eight. Column three fifty eight, and that's gonna say rare play, potential rare play, unless it's a. Uh, it says. Use player result 53 to 57, which is a dribbler to the mound. If I roll even, let's see, that's an even, so it's a dribbler to the mound. If pitcher retired, okay, 53, roll one die against the pit, the runner speed with two outs. Play is on the batter. Two outs, plays on the batter. Roll one die against the runner speed. If the die is higher, he is out. Runners advance one base. If not, it's an infield single. Hmm. Interesting. So as you can see, there's a lot of uh, uh, different steps that you go through here, permutations, if you will. Um, okay, so Davis' speed is a two, so I'm going to roll one die. And it says, what did it say? It said if, if the... Uh, is the runner, if the die is higher, he is out. Okay, higher than a two, let's see what happens. Oh, he's out. One to three. But the damage has been done. The damage has been done. The two-run shot by Jed Laurie off of off of Dellen Batanzas puts the A's up three to two in the top of the eighth inning here at Yankee Stadium. The wild card game played October third, twenty eighteen. Now Jed Laurie had a pretty good season last year. I think he had twenty three home runs. Yep, he had twenty three home runs. At a 267 with a 353 on base percentage. So uh, he's no slouch. And we're going to definitely get a new pitcher for the Yanks in the next inning as well. So we can already do that. In the top of the ninth, I bring in Robertson. And I want to make sure I do all that before I get started on the next inning because then I forget. I leave it halfway done and then I, I screw up. So let me just do that. Robertson is coming in. There you go. For the next inning, he'll be facing Olsen, Piscotti, and Laureano. All right. Here goes. It's um, new pitcher is Rodney. Fernando Rodney is going to be pitching to Hicks, Stanton, and Voigt. He's the guy who shoots the, uh, the imaginary arrow into the sky when he gets a save. Hasn't had many saves lately. Although last year he had 25 saves with a 339 ERA. So when you think this guy, and his whip was 1.4, mm, not that great. You want something below one to really stand out. But All right, here's the pitch to Hicks. Aaron Hicks is uh, 0 for 2 today with a walk. That's a 5-2. So a 5-2 is a 5. There's a K there. 5-2 is a 5. And then it's a 5-6 is a 9. A nine on cause of base on balls. So Hicks walks. That's the tying run now on base. K doesn't come into play again because it's got to be an out. And that was not an out to walk. All right, Stanton. Pitch to Stanton. It's a 5 2. A 5 2 is a 5K. That's a 5. And then a 5 5. It's a 7. So that's a 12. A 12 on column 5 is hit by pitch. We got first two runners on base. Tying run is on second base now, and it's Luke Voigt. Here's the pitch from Fernando Rodney, played with Minnesota and then came to Oakland towards the end of the season. Yankees are down three to two, but they have uh, they have something going here in the bottom of the eighth. Here's the pitch. Say one two. A one two is a one, and then a one five is a six. That's going to be a strikeout. So Voigt down on strikes, out number one. Next is Didi Gregorius. Gregorius batted 268 with 27 home runs. Got off to a tremendous start in 2018, but then later cooled off towards the end of the season. I think he spent some time on the injured list as well. Played only 134 games. He missed about 20-some uh, odd games with an, with an injury there. All right, it's Gregorius. Here's the pitch. 5-6, which is a 5. And then... It's going to be 5, 6 is a 5, and then 5, 2 is a 27. So a 5, 
And the 27 is a 32 with a little thingamajig there. Um, 32, column 5. It's a fly out to left. Now that thingamajig, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. And I don't see it here. So guys will have to tell me. Oh, here it is. Runners hold. If bad, that's only for, for results 28, 29, and 32. Our, our result was 5, 2, 27. Our result was 32, which is just a straight fly out to left. 32, it says a runner holds if batter has... Oh, wait, it, is, it does apply. Wait a second. Runners hold if batter has that little symbol. Okay, so everybody holds. Fly out to left. Two out now. And it's Miguel Andujar. He's 0 for 3, struck out, flight out, and grounded out with two outs now. And Rodney. And the pitch to Miguel Andujar. Here's the pitch. It's going to be a 1 2. A 1 2 is a 1. And a 1 1 is a 21. Whoa. -oh. I don't know what that means, but we're going to find out. So it's a, it's a 1. It's a 1 2, which is a 1 off Rodney's card. And a 1 1 is a 21 total. 1 and 20 is 21. 21 is going to say line drive single plus potential error. There it is again. The 2 makes it a line drive to left field. So that is potentially going to score a run. runner's advance one base. Hmm. Runners advance, ball drops in and may be mishandled. Roll against the error of the pitcher. So basically, the runners advance one base, and that's how I'm going to play it. So it's a single. Now, unless there's an error there, we're not going to score the time run. It's going to be a bases loaded situation. So we're going to roll. We're going to see. We said it was two. Two was uh, to the left fielder. Left fielder is is a four. Actually, we're rolling against his error rating, right? Roll on the, against error rating. Okay, we don't know Martini's error rating. we got to look at that. Martini's error rating is in, le in left field is a 31, so we may be able to, to beat that. It'll be an error and a run will score. All right, so we need to roll 2d6. got to be higher than 31. 54 and tying run comes home on the error. 3 3 now. E7. E7, that's a big error there. And uh, Hicks scores. And both runners move up. Both runners move up. Stanton goes to third, and Andujar goes to second. So second and third now, and it's Glaber Torres. Oh no, it's uh, Gary Sanchez. Excuse me, Gary Sanchez. Here's the pitch from Rodney. With two out, three-three game, bottom of the eighth. Yankees have second and third, and that's a four-two. A four-two is second base. Second baseman is a 3, so that's a 3, and then a 4-5, four, 4-5 five. Four, five is a 1, so that's a 3 and a 1 is a 4, a 4 on column 4, a 4 on column 4 is a ground out, 2, second base, so it's going to be 4-3, and that retires the side, but not before the Yankees come up huge, and with a, a walk, a hit by pitch, and then it was a single by Andujar, and an error by the left fielder Martini, Vodka Martini, and um, the Yankees have tied the ball game. All right, top of the ninth, it's going to be um, for the Yanks. 3-3 <clears throat> three, three ball game here. Learning to play replay baseball with all you fellas out there. 
guys will tell me, will send messages to me, and they'll tell me, oh, you did this wrong, you did that wrong, and I'm like, thank you. I want to get better at this. Uh, what, I, what I'm not doing is the ballpark effects, not even going there yet. This is only my third game, and, you know, I have a very serious learning curve. Um, okay, so it's Robertson. He's going to be facing Matt Olson, who's already homered. One for three, two strikeouts and a homer. Here's a pitch from Robertson. That's a 4-1. A 4-1 is first base. First baseman is a 3. So that's a 3. And then a 4-1. 19. So that's a 22. 4-22. And it's a single off pitcher's glove. Runner advances one base. Fielder's glove, excuse me. So that's going to be a single for Olsen. He's on it first. Not much speed to worry about. Steven Piscotti. Piscotti's over two. Here's the pitch. That's a six. That's trouble, potentially trouble. That's two. Six six is eleven. That's thirteen. Six thirteen. <laughs> and that's a deep drive to center field. Back goes Hicks to the track, to the wall. It's out of here. The A's have done it again. This time against Robertson. And let's double check that. A 6-2 is a 2. And then a 6-6 six, six is a, an 11 in column 6. That's a 13. That's home run over the wall. And the A's take a 5-3 lead here in the top of the ninth. Home run by Steven Piscotti, who hit 27 on the year. I think uh, this year, I think uh, the boy on uh, on the Brewers has 27 already, and it's only the first month of the season. It's going to break the record by the second month. Loriano, Ramon Loriano, 5-3 to three game on the two-run shot by Steven Piscotti off David Robertson, who I know, and there's no doubt in my mind that he wishes he had that pitch back. Here goes to Loriano. See, 1 4. A 1 4 is a 1. And then a 1 1 is a 20. Okay, that's that 21 again. That's that 21 again. Um, and that 21, I don't know if I'm playing it right, but the single plus an error, there's a lot of outfield errors. I mean, I've had an outfield error on every, in every single game so far. And I, th I think I had two outfield errors in the last game. So I played this same, these same two teams three times, and I, I, I'm getting a lot of outfield errors. So I, I don't know. It seems that way to me, but we'll see what happens. One four. It's a very small sample size so far. Three games. One four is a one, right? And then a one one is a twenty. So it's twenty one on column one, and that's going to say line drive single plus error. A four makes it to center field. Hicks is a pretty good center fielder. And we're going to look at Hicks right now. Hicks is a, a, uh, a 56. 56. So we're going to roll against that. We're going to roll against 56. We need 56. Okay. So he's good. Wow. All right. So Hicks is a 56. So it tells you um, roll against error rating. If the roll is higher, which it is not, the batter and all runners advance extra base on his error. So it's just a single. Single to center for Loriano. And the Yanks can go to the bullpen because this is a serious bull here. They're going to go to the bullpen and they're going to bring in uh, Britain. Let's look for Britain here. Zach Britton. Oh, another thing I really like about this, it gives you like a little card with all the players. Where is that thing? Let's see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Yeah. It gives you a little, a little card with all your batters and all your pitchers, which is cool. You know who you have and who you have to look for. Britton was there with 41 games. Don't know how many. I didn't count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 34. Comes with 30 players. So I guess all the teams come with 30 players. Britain is right there. It tells you a little bit about his stats. He's a 310 ERA. Pretty good. All right, so Britain coming in is going to be green. Oh, 
and we're going to do this little thing that Demo Dave's does. I sometimes forget, but I like it. It kind of is an extra little symbol there that tells me a new pitcher came in. Okay, he's going to he's gonna pitch to Zach Britton left. He's going to pitch to a righty Simeon. Um, I just brought him in because I needed to bring somebody in. and, and uh, I know Martini's a lefty. LaCroix is a righty, so I could actually play this a little bit differently. But uh, it is what it is for now. We're learning, so. All right, Semyon. Britain against Semyon. It's going to be 2-3. Two, 2-3 three. Two, three is a 1-W star. I have no idea what that means, but we'll find out. Okay. And then it's a 2-3, 16. So it's a 17 altogether in column 2. 17, strike out with bases empty. Or fly out with runners on base. And then what else does it say? Then it says if a letter Y appears beside the result, there was no Y. Uh, okay. If pitcher has a asterisk, right? That was two three. He has an asterisk. If pitcher has an asterisk besides his grade two, result twelve to sixteen are changed to a pop out to first. You see, but now I don't I don't oh here it was a seventeen, right? It was a seventeen. Because it was a 2-3. Yeah, it was a 17, so that doesn't apply. Then a W. If the pitcher has a W beside his column 2 grade with bases empty, bases are not empty, so I don't have to worry about that. If pitcher has a large W, and that was a large W because it was 2-3 and it's a large W. Pitcher has a large W with bases empty, bases are not empty, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, a lot of instructions here. But thank God I don't have to worry about that. All right. So, I don't even know what the result was at this point. I totally forgot. Oh, so it was basically, um, let me double check that. 2 3 was a 1, and then a 2 3 was a 17. A 17 was a strikeout with bases empty or a fly out to center with men on base. And there's a runner on first who's Loriano. He's on first. So that's one out. So, there you go. I'm, I'm living through this experience with my. Uh, my community. Here's the pitch to Lucroy. 2 3, 16. 16. And then it's a 2 2, which is a 1 W star again. So a 2 3 is a 16. And then a 2 2 is going to be a 17. That's the same exact result. Right? Yeah, same thing. So another fly out to center field, two outs. And now it's Martini. Lefty versus lefty matchup. Runner on first. Five three A's. Top of the ninth. It's a three two. A three two is a one. And then a three three. It's a six altogether. It's a five there. Five plus one is six. Under three is going to be a fly out to center. So the last three batters or the three outs come from fly outs to center field. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. Last licks for the Bombers, the Bronx Bombers. They're going to be bringing up Torres. Um, and who should I bring in here to Rodney? Training. I think that's how you say his name. Let's look here. Hold on. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. All right. Glaber Torres against Blake Trainin who had 38 saves. So we're going to make him uh, yellow. So Trainin is going to be the closer who's going to come out. Oh wait, yeah. And he's going to be yellow. And scores 5-3, bottom of the ninth. The Yankees are up. The A's scored two runs in the top of the eighth the, to take a 3-2 lead. In the bottom of the inning, the Yanks came back on a single and an error, driving in Hicks from second base, who had walked. That tied it a three apiece. And then in the top of the ninth, it was a single and a two-run shot by Stephen Piscotti that gave the A's a 5-3 lead. And we're filling in all this data here. Two hits, two runs. 
and then three hits, two runs. And the Yanks are up. It's going to be Glaber Torres. Torres is 0 for 3. Now, I don't remember if they pinch hit with anybody, but I'm going to let Glaber Torres bat. Just... All right, it's going to be 2-2 two -two from Trennan. 2-2 two -two is a 1 with a star, or asterisk, if you will. Well, star, I'm not sure. It's a 1, and then a 2-4 is a 16. So that's going to be a 17. Column 2 is the third time we got that. Strikeout with bases empty. If pitcher has a an asterisk, two to sixteen has changed, but we rolled seventeen. All right, so that's a strikeout. So Torres down on strikes for the third time in the game. One out. It's McCutcheon, Andrew McCutcheon. He's zero for two. Line a uh, flight out to uh, right and then line out to right, and he's walked twice. All right, so it's going to be a 4-4. Four, four. A 4-4 four, four is shortstop. Shortstop is a 2, so that's a 2. And then a 4-6 and a 1, so that's a 3. And that's going to be in column 4. 3 is going to be a ground out to short. Two away. The A's are one out from upsetting the Yanks who are highly favored to win this game. They had 100 wins on the season. And um, it's, it's left up to Aaron Judge. They're down, the Yanks are down 5-3 to three here in the bottom of the ninth with two out. Aaron Judge the batter. Judge is one for three with a walk and a single and an RBI. Here's the pitch to Judge. All right, let's say 1-1. One, one. That's a 10. And then a 1, I'm sorry, got to look up here. A 1-1 one, one is a 1, right? 1-1 one, one is a 1. And then a 1-6 is a 45. So that's going to be a 46 in column 1. A 46 in column 1 is going to be a strikeout. Game is over. So that's... That's the ball game. The A's win it by a score of five to three. Learning to play replay baseball. Um, I hope you, uh, you know, got something out of this and uh, learned a little bit uh, about it. Um, and it, I mean, it plays pretty well. It didn't take me all that long to, uh, you know, I did a lot of talking in these whatever one, two, three innings that I played. Six, seven, eight, nine, four innings, I guess. Four, three and a half innings. Um, it was pretty quick. Uh, it would play a lot quicker if I didn't talk, right? And if I knew the game a little better. So I'm thinking about this. This game is a doable game. There's just a lot of little bells and whistles you have to get used to. Like, you know, those little symbols. So you're comfortable saying, okay, I know what that symbol is. I don't have to worry about that because of the situation. And then you can really play through this game pretty quick. And I think it's a lot of fun. I'm going to keep on playing it. I may do another video after I play another three games. And I'll have more information, more data to share. And that's it. CP Cards and Dice is saying goodbye. I will, uh, I will um, upload a, another video. I'm going to play the game one of the 1988 World Series, the game in which uh, Kirk Gibson comes out and pinch hits a, a two-run blast to win the game against Dennis Eckersley. I will be playing that game to see if we can reproduce that, which I highly doubt that will be reproduced. But anyway, I'm going to play that game using APA. Very simple, the opposite of this. Pretty much I have every every dice roll. I played games online in 20 minutes, even less, 15 minutes with APA, APA Basic. So anyway, that'll be fun to do and see that. So I'm going to say uh, so long for now and combat pain or signing off. Adios.